Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we are still on the quest for Sturgeon, but I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take the advice of a good friend of mine. Her name is Melissa Bragu. She watches all my videos, uh, pretty much everything that I do, very good friend of mine. And she's pretty much like, you know, a watch pot never boils. Have I heard of that? <laughs> Yeah, I think she's right. Maybe I'm just a little bit too worked up over it. And I just need to relax a little bit and enjoy just fishing and seeing what happens. You know, maybe the next several episodes, it'll have to be the quest for sturgeon. But I think what I'll go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and fish, see what happens. I've got pretty much all the type of gear that I need to make this happen. So it's just a matter of being patient, I guess. Anyway, guys... Well, let me go ahead and see what's the best locations for these guys. And we'll try. I think Fishing Islands is the last one. I'm not sure where they're all found, to be honest. I've tried several places. Let's see. Apparently, you can find them here in Pike River. Moose Lake. You know, I might try Moose Lake. Moose Lake has always been a very good lake for me, guys honestly but let me go ahead we're gonna do free fishing again and I think we're gonna keep this we're gonna do we're gonna do autumn I think we're gonna do autumn here and we're gonna do now on fishing planet it seems like the best times is either in the morning or the evening hours so let's try morning I'm gonna make sure the fish fights are on and we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I've, I've caught my biggest fish here. And I don't know, it's just an overall good lake to do. Let me go ahead and get a good look here at the depth meter here. Yeah, the one kid that put a message on my site was right. They're definitely a deep fish, deep water fish, their bottom feeders, so I might also just let it sit on the bottom and see what happens too, at least try that with uh, maybe the Mermishka, could work, never know, anyway guys let's go ahead and give this spot right here a try. see I did pick up a little bit of new gear here let me go ahead and get the this is supposed to be the one that they go for so we're gonna go ahead and set it up and I also picked up a new hook guys it's also supposed to be a favorite of theirs the one called the Africa as you can see it's got sturgeon first on the list so we'll go ahead and select that so they're supposed to like the hook they're supposed to like the lure now as far as the bait goes I don't think they really have a preference except for the sparkle knight so we'll give that one a try may have to pick up a little bit more of that all right let's go ahead and throw a little bit of that in here drop this sucker in there and let's see if we can maybe we don't need to move it very much maybe that's part of the problem maybe moving it too much just take it easy guys yeah I might just do one of the things that I like to do when I fish is talk a little bit honestly I've never been ice fishing guys I live in a place
place called New Albany, Indiana. I was born and raised in, well, I was actually born in Louisville, Kentucky, but my early childhood I lived in Bullock County, Kentucky. And shortly thereafter, my parents divorced, and I kind of lived my life from that point forward split between the two states because it just so happens that. Indiana and Kentucky are right next to each other at that point and my mother lived in Indiana a place called Jeffersonville and my father lived in Louisville. And the good thing is I spent a lot of time with my father. I love my father. We were very close. And there we go. But I got to visit him on weekends, and one of the nice things that about visiting my father is we used to go visit my grandmother, his mom a lot, my grandmother Marcus. That'd be a perch. And my grandmother Marquis lived out in Bullock County. And she owned about 42 acres of woods in an area called Bernheim Forest. And I spent a lot of my childhood roaming the woods that she had on her property. And what was really cool is she lived real close to the Jim Bean Distillery. And my uncle who lived with her, my uncle Willie or Uncle Bill, he had access to a reservoir of theirs and at this reservoir we used to go quite often and it was loaded guys I mean loaded with panfish and largemouth bass I caught my very first largemouth bass there when I was seven and the biggest one I ever caught when I was about oh twelve I think Truth be known, I haven't caught one as big as this one. I think it was 21 inches or something like that. I I really haven't caught anything that big since then. But truth be known, I haven't been anywhere where they they came that big, <laughs> to be honest. But anyway, we used to go there a lot, and I think one of the funniest things and the funniest stories about when you are fishing or doing stuff like that is when you have mishaps and I remember one time when I was 11 I went with my father and my uncle Bill and we were we were fishing and we caught a few fish already we were having a good time and I reared back to make a really good cast at least what I thought was going to be a really good cast and when I swung the, there we go, when I swung my rod, I felt like somebody smacked me in the head, I mean like real hard, to the point where I thought maybe my dad or my uncle did something to me. That's a bream. And it was at that point I tried to move my rod and my dad screamed out don't son <laughs> and uh, he came over and he was all worried and look, look what I had done is I had whoops what I had done is I had hooked the back of my head and it was pretty bad it was I mean the hook was in really good didn't even hurt. That was the funny thing. So, well, needless to say, <laughs> they were the uh, fishing trip was pretty much over at that point. So the two of them took me back to my grandmother's, and my dad's like, "Well, the only thing we're going to be able to do is we're going to have to push the hook through out the other side." 
that's where we can cut the barb off and then we'll have to slide the hook out so my uncle went and got a pair of, of uh, wire snips and my dad's trying to push the hook through to the other side so that they can do that and he's getting you know by now this is it is hurting <laughs> a lot and uh, he's getting really concerned <laughs> which of course made me get really concerned there we go and my uncle came over and he's like they're sitting there talking and he's like oh no oh no no that didn't go, that's not working and I'm like oh god what's going on well ooh nice perch anyway the they fiddled with it for a while but apparently what they were saying was as they were trying to move the hook out all it was doing was pushing the skin up it wasn't actually pushing the the end of the hook through so after a little bit of deliberation <laughs> the two of them decided I was going to go to the ER needless to say anyway we went to the ER and of course um, you know I'm like here I am with a fish hook in my head I'm sure that was something they see every day <laughs> and the doctor had to, took a look at it and he fiddled around with it a little bit luckily he uh, numbed it a little bit first and he said well we're gonna have to cut this one out there, it's just not going to come out so he did all got all his surgical stuff and started working on it and he cut the hook out and he looked at it and he laughed and he showed my father my father showed me the hook and the very tip of that hook was completely bent completely bent which is why I wouldn't push through the skin needless to say from that point forward my dad said it was because of my hard head that the hook got bent and wouldn't come out <laughs> yeah that was a bit of a joke between the two of them for a while yeah that was not so much fun though for me at the time I tell you You never know what's going to happen when you go fishing. There's a lot of, there's been a lot of mishaps in my past with fishing. I tell you, I could definitely tell some stories, but I tend to like to save as many of them as I can. Basically, whenever I'm doing this, it's a good time to do it because sometimes the stories or the situations remind me of one that took place some years before you know I think the most interesting fishing trips guys were the ones I never caught anything it's not so much the catching of the fish as it is the times you get to spend with the people you love and that's the truth I will tell you one thing guys, I miss my dad. I miss my dad tremendously. He's been gone for more than 20 years now. I will never forget him. Alright fish, you're getting on my nerves. You've got to be there somewhere. Alright guys, I am sorry. My dog's decided to go off for some reason or another. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this lure out real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a marmishka this time and just try a little bit of... Just let it sit on the bottom for a minute and see what happens. But I'm going to put some kind of bait on there. Let's see. Let me be perfectly honest none of these except for this one seem to attract sturgeon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 
and put it all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going to drop it in there and see what happens. I'm not going to move around. Actually, I might even... Well, shoot, I can't get it all the way to the bottom. There we go. I'm just going to get down as far to the bottom as I can and just see if anything goes for it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and move to a new location. Let me take a look here. Alright, let's look at the map. I wish you could zoom in on this, I really do, you can't. That is one thing you cannot seem to do. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, you can there. But you can't here. Alright. If I was a sturgeon, where would I be? I'd be off the bottom. You know what? For some reason, I just have this feeling that I need to try over here. Sometimes going with your gut where the best places to fish often seem to work. Just happens to be a hole right here. It's really good. Take it down about there and we'll just see what we get here. Oh, I forgot my lure. I didn't take long. She fits. Whoa, there we go. That was a heavy hit. I mean, it could be another brain, though. Alright, let's see. See what we got. Come on. Oh, he's giving me quite a fight there, fish. Yep, another bream. Looks like this is going to be a bream. I think I was too slow. Yeah, 
That's too slow. Thank God. I think this is going to be a brain kind of day. activity here. Definitely a good hot spot for these guys. Bites here, though. Better be careful. I'm not breaking the line. If this is fishing planet. I would have already, already worn out the rod, line, and reel by now. So. All the bites I keep getting. Really nice bream. Whoa! That was a... Okay, this one's big. I mean, we're not talking 10 pounds or anything, but... This one's... Probably the biggest one I think I've gotten so far, judging from how hard it hit. So it's probably a very large perch or green. Looks like my wife's calling me, so hopefully I can get this up before she. Nice bream, nice bream. Alright, let's pause this here guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. And we're going to keep going at it. We've got us a nice little pile here of perch and bream. I'll tell you, I should have... I think next time I'm going to... Whoa! Okay, I snapped my line. Damn. Oh, man. What the heck was that? Okay, okay, okay. Alright. That was something that I've got to find out what it was. Of course, I'm not, probably never catch it now, but... Let's see, do I have any lure at all left? I've already been getting perch and green. Uh, let's just go ahead and go with that. I've got to find out what that was. Actually, guys, I'm really having, despite not catching the elusive sturgeon, I'm not having any problem catching just about everything else. <laughs> Alright, let's see what other kinds of lures I have here that might attract something. I know somebody said that they, I've heard that the salmon snake has caught them. I 
was the other one that I heard about? Was it the wild pink? No, that's for Xander. I've heard the green goblin and the salmon snake. Just out of curiosity, I'd like to see if there are any salmon in this part of the lake. I don't remember if they're in Moose Lake or not. But we're going to give it a little try here. There's a pretty good bite. Alright, definitely the white fish are going for that one. Alright, let's switch this one out for the blue beast. I've heard this is good for the people have to say there's been some success with that. Oh, wow. Okay, whatever this was, it hit hard. It is considerably bigger than even I've caught so far. Whoa! Holy cripes! Holy mackerel, guys! Did you see that? Did you see it? I. <laughs> oh my god how 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 did I oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah I, I want to look at this thing but I cannot holy crap look at the size of this guy 10.59 pounds awesome sauce guys there he is I got him! Yes! Mel, I did it! <laughs> Alright guys, I, I'm just stoked. I am stoked. Alright, let's take a look at this guys. I just wanted to get a better look at him here. There's my sturgeon, guys. Well, I, I guess that is a successful, definitely successful fishing outing here, guys. Let me go ahead and pull stakes here. We are going to, here's the spot, guys. Right here. And yes, you have to be patient. But I caught him with a blue beast at the bottom. Just like they're supposed to be. It just takes time. You just have to be patient. Mel was right. She was absolutely right. Alright guys. Let's go back and see what kind of bucks we're going to get for these guys. Because I am definitely going to see if I can get some change off of these. Definitely going to see if I can get some change off of these. Alright, 414. There you go, guys. We did it. We did it, guys. Off the Blue Beast, one of the, the very first lure you get, guys. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I want to I really appreciate you watching, being patient with me the last three episodes. I finally got my sturgeon. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back 
for another episode of Ice Lakes. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.